The first part of the HR Insights series will be talking about the investment of skills for learning and recruiting practices. This is increasingly important in today's world where companies have to understand how to stay competitive, professionals need to stand out and understand how to stay relevant and competitive as well. Let's look into some ways that companies and workforces can both thrive to survive COVID-19. Let's take a look at the skill sets that are important for success. I would like to highlight four business skills and three technical skills critical thinking, creativity and innovation, adaptability and flexibility, leadership and emotional intelligence. Of these four, I would say that critical thinking is extremely important as we have incredible amount of data out there that is not necessarily correct, not necessarily coming from credible sources. So the ability to take such information from various sources and to have the business acumen to understand how credible is that source, how accurate is that information, is extremely critical for informed decision making. Creativity, innovation comes hand in hand with adaptability and flexibility. It is important for companies to understand how to continuously learn to adapt and refresh the skill sets of the workforce. Only then can they really identify new ways to deliver services and quickly shift to the new products to be competitive and remain relevant and be nimble for growth. Leadership and emotional intelligence will tie everything together as it allows for teams to be empowered, it encourages collaboration and connects one another on an emotional level. Next, we have three technical skills, tech savviness, data literacy, digital encoding skills. All three of these skill sets really allow the company to go through the proper digital transformation and it allows us to continuously innovate and transform with the right combination of business skills and technical skills, we have three positive outcomes. We can meet customer expectations. We can allow for product enhancement and drive greater workforce empowerment. Skills is the currency of the labor market. The entire workforce is quickly adapting and learning and reskilling so that they can stay competitive. Let's take a look at how the workforce has adapted in light of COVID-19. There has been a tremendous surge in the retail industry. The job applications for essential retail had surged 88% across the country. And interestingly, 23.8, close to 24% of such applicants had previously worked in retail, restaurants, hospitality, and food and beverage. Being in the recruiting business, we have been able to see firsthand the increase and decrease of various skill sets that are being required within the organization. There's been a surge in various consulting and freelance projects as well. Cybersecurity, data privacy, financial analysis, digital transformation, all of these require the organization to stay competitive, to stay secure, and to really enable the business to grow. HR has also played a significant role throughout the entire pandemic. Not only do they have to manage the rapid workforce scaling and reductions, they need to improve and work on increasing employee morale. They need to understand how to engage employees that are working remotely. They need to understand how to come up with strategies to keep the workplace safe if they are a essential business that require employees to come on site and to understand how to really enable the businesses to grow by supporting them from an HR perspective. So there's been an increase in a lot of consulting and freelance projects in addition to the full-time HR rules. In addition to taking on additional projects and freelance consulting work, and also transferring some of their skill sets across different industries, we can see that workers are starting to acquire skills more and more given COVID and are learning how to be more productive and adaptable while they're working from home. According to the 2019 Cornerstone survey back in October, 53% of the employees believed that they weren't skilled enough to avoid a layoff. 83% were looking to improve their professional skills. 60% of boomers felt insecure with their current skill sets. And 53% of millennials said their employers helped them identify the skills they need. 
this shows that the workforce is not skilled enough and the importance of reskilling to allow for productivity and confidence in their current jobs. Given COVID, a lot of the workforce has been working remotely, if not all. And based on the March 2020 data, global learners spent almost 28 million hours on just e-learning. Next, let's talk about how companies are also reacting to COVID-19 and are adapting and investing in the necessary skills. Again, skills are the currency of the labor market, so they need to conduct workforce planning and invest in the required skills and continue to recruit both virtually and remotely. Workforce planning and investment in skills is critical. 375 million workers, this is 14% of the global workforce, will have to switch jobs or acquire new skills and adapt in the next 10 years. This is because automation and AI-related technologies will create new jobs that are far more necessary and essential. 87% of executives said they were experiencing skill gaps already in the workforce or expect them to occur in the next few years. This is why companies need to consistently create talent strategies, understand where the gaps are in the organization, and develop employees to have better cognitive capabilities, digital skills, both social and emotional skills, and also increase their adaptability and resilience. One of the key things that allows the employees to stay engaged is professional growth. Knowing that the company actually cares about their growth about educating them and upskilling them so that their skills could be competitive and current and relevant is extremely important to professionals today. There's been a surge in learning. Um, the digital platform Coursera reported a 750 increase in the enrollment of such courses in March, 2020, as compared to the same time last year. Again, we're in the recurring business. So we're seeing a surge in demand for certain roles that are highly linked to digital transformation. There are software developers, e-learning experts, e-commerce specialists, digital content producers, online security professionals, HR consultants and recruiters, and even medical professionals. It's important to reskill the labor force because rising technology and increasing customer needs will demand new skills so that we can actually survive and thrive and continue to grow during this time. Now, after conducting the workforce planning and understanding which skills are essential to invest in, companies need to continue to recruit. They need to interview virtually and onboard remotely. There are two studies here I would like to point on. Gartner in March 17th surveyed 800 companies. This is literally when there has been a peak in the number of COVID cases in the United States. 49% of companies imposed a hiring freeze, but only 8% of those firms started a downsizing process. A month later in April 13th, Gartner surveyed 334 HR leaders. 86% were using virtual technology to interview candidates during the crisis. 85% of the organizations noted that they were utilizing new technology to really bring on new candidates and to bring on new employees in a seamless fashion. 82% of companies expected a decline in hiring. 63% of recruiting leaders reported more than half of their job openings that were frozen. So we see a mix of both corporations that have been impacted heavily and froze their hiring process, as well as companies that continue to grow and continue to invest in bringing on the right people with the right skill sets. We've talked about the importance of investing in skills for both the professionals and the companies. And it's important for professionals to continue to understand what are the skills that are hot, what are the skills that are important and critical out there, and understand which recruiting and hiring practices must be instituted to continuously grow the organization.